help me to welcome to the podium my covenant brother reverend Rav Avaja somebody give Jesus some shout hallelujah the man of God said is a day of celebration and I believe that lift up your hands unto the Lord can you just thank God for a day like this thank God with a grateful heart give thanks because it's risen Jesus Christ Give thanks With a grateful heart Give thanks To the Holy One Give thanks Because He's lift up our heads for what the Lord has done for us can we just thank him can we just thank him can we just thank this God thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you for the gift that you gave to mankind First and foremost, we thank you for the gift of our Lord Jesus Christ. The best gift, the greatest gift, the highest gift that you gave to mankind. That all over the world in this season, we are marking the coming of that special gift. And also God in this same season you gave mankind another gift the gift of prophet came so don't matter you brought him also in a time like this and in this season the season that the world is celebrating and marking the death of your son was also the season that we are celebrating and marking the birth of your servant. Lord, it is not a coincidence. You know what you did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For not all, many that were born together with Jesus lost their lives. Herod terminated, eliminated them. So with your servant, many that were born, the time, the day, the season that he was born, they are no more. But your mighty hand has kept him. 
Lord, we are here to celebrate you who has kept him. For us, oh God, thank you, sir. That every year we return here to say thank you. To say thank you. To say thank you. To say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Yesterday you made me to understand that the unction is not on the commission. But the unction is on the servant that you call to bring for the commission. Thank you. Because we know that you are ushering your servant to a greater glory. That as he steps into a new year, in this season, you are also sending him to a greater glory. The bad as Jesus as you carry coming by this time next year, the exploits of this new year shall not be matched by previous exploits. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, blessed be your holy name. Thank you. As many that are here to rejoice with him, celebration will never cease in their household. It is done. Wave your hands again and just say thank you, Lord. Prophet, was it not a year ago that we finished? And 24 hours later, the devil came. What if the devil has had his way? The enemies would have talked. If you don't have anything or you do not see any major reason to thank God for this man's life, thank him that he stepped into this year that he just left. And the enemy said, you will not live on. That as he entered into this year that he's living now, the devil said, let us see you live it. And did not plan to finish him alone, but to finish many that were here that day. Yahweh, you are so glorious in your way. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are glorious. So glorious in your way. Yahweh, hey. Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. Somebody called me on phone two days ago, two days ago, two, two, two days ago. He said, so you are close to this man of God. I said, yes. He said, are you, 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 you are close. I said, yes. He said, do you know, do you know him very well? I said, more than every other person. This is someone that don't know you. I've never come to church does not know anything he said people say it I said the same way people say about you he said the same way people talk about you hello I didn't hear that I said hello you know while I was coming I saw you know, while I was coming, I saw convoy. I said, which uh, is governor coming? So I had to pack so that governor will pass. <laughs> so 
So when I realized where the convoy was going, I just said, I hope you people will video this, record it very well. Record it very well. And push it out there. Push it out there. Push it out there. One governor said, I see they sweet us. He they paint them. I see they pepper them. He they <laughs> Somebody shall make a joy for me. Never mind them. Hono kulun choge kuma. Hagavanti. Hage kuopu. Bogi don't wear her. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Just look at your neighbor. Say to your neighbor, never mind them. Hono kulun choge kuma. Hagavanti. I get up, go get away. I just keep on passing. Let me call you by name. I just keep on coming. Let me call you by name. I just keep on saying, "Oh, let me call you by name." I just keep on coming. Let me call you by name. Oh, never you mind them. 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 One more time. Never you mind them. Never you mind them. Never you mind them. Never you mind it. Give Jesus a beautiful hand. Help me go to twelve people and say welcome to church. Nice to see you. I'm happy to see you. Can you go to twelve people and welcome? I say I'm happy to see you. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Glory be to God. Permit me to speak briefly on what I titled When the Anointed Faint. When the Anointed Faint. When the Anointed Weary. When the Anointed is tired, is weak. Psalms chapter 89 verse 20 21 22 and 23 Psalms 89 20 21 22 and 23 yes I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him can I put it this way I have found Cain my servant beloved God is not looking for masters God is not looking for bosses. God is looking for servants. If God found, it means that he sought. If he found, it means that he took it took him time. To search. Remember when Samuel went to the house of Jesse? What stopped God from telling Samuel, I have 
choosing the last son of Jesse. Why didn't God tell Samuel, I have can call the name of David from the onset? It simply means that by the time Samuel left to the house of Jesse, God only told him, the king is in the house, but you will need to find the person you will need to find the one that is the choosing one. And for you to find the choosing one, you must find based on the heart condition and the sacrificial nature of the person. And the Bible says, when someone arrived, the word of God says, seven sons we are told. And their father made them to pass before Samuel. Two times. And all were rejected. Until God said to Samuel, I am looking for the one his heart is right with man. Exactly what the man of God said this morning. When your heart is right with God, you can connect God has made his choice from the house of Jesse, but God has not chosen the particular vessel. I have found David, my servant. Hi. Because why others were at home as bosses, as masters, David was in the bush as a servant. Why others were at home as the august? David was in the bush taking care of his father's sheep. I am looking for servants. I'm not looking for masters. I am looking for people that have the nature of servanthood. I am not looking for people that feel that they are better than every other person. They, they, are, top, they are up there while every other person is down. I found with my holy oil meaning not every oil is holy there are unholy oils there are there are there, not every not every anointing is holy give me that scripture with my holy oil have I anointed him. Wow. Then I thought it was somewhere that anointed him. Yet God said I was the one. I was the one. I said my Samuel, uh, my servant Samuel, that I was the one. Why he I used his hand. It was my hand that anointed David. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the worst things that can happen to any man that comes here is to begin to see this man as man because he is only an instrument a vessel that God is using God said I have anointed him but we didn't see God here we saw Samuel but because Samuel was sent by God God had to go with him this man is not there on his own. He is sent by God. And if he is sent by God, then God will back him up. Is somebody hearing me here? Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Shout it louder. Say neighbor. Don't be familiar with God's vessel. Shout it again. Say neighbor. Don't be too familiar with God's vessel. Don't be too familiar. I've anointed him with my holy oil. Yes. Give me the next verse. With whom? With whom? With whom? My hand. Ay, ay, ay. With whom? Through him. My hand shall be established. Can you put it there, please? 
my arm also shall strengthen him if not this God's hand and arm upon this man's life he would have been a forgotten person either with my hand and arm that means they are not the same thing <laughs> God can give you only his hand without his arm. God can give you his arm without his hand. Ay, ay, ay. But when God gives you the two, then you are unshakable. The hand establishes the arm. Put it, put it up there. The hand establishes the arm strengthens. The hand establishes the arm strengthens. That means no matter the storm, no matter the wind, no matter the shakings, each one of me said the everlasting arm of God is beneath it. Why you have not fallen is because there is a hand underneath you. Do you know there are people that are looking at you, you may not know why they are looking at you. They are looking at you because they know there is nothing they have not done for you to clash. And yet you are standing they do not know how to come close to ask what is happening but what they do not know is that there is an everlasting hand an everlasting arm that is beneath you that no matter the storm no matter the wind no matter the shaking you are still standing you may go like this and go this way but before they know it you are standing again and you are moving forward if the head is standing the body will stand if the servant of God is standing then the body will stand also if the master is standing then the children will be standing too ladies and gentlemen if the devil did not succeed in pushing him down and eliminating him the same God that is with him shall continue to be with you and your family and your businesses and your academics in the name of Jesus if you shout in heaven shout it louder So the oil was not an ordinary oil. Oil is a communicator of God's hand and arm. We didn't see his hand. We didn't see his arm. But he said, as soon as the oil came on him, his hand was released. His arm was released. Hand for establishment. Arm for strengthening. Hand for what a, what a revelation. Hand for establishment. Arm for strengthening. That no matter what happens. See, when you are praying, don't pray only for God's hand. Pray for his arm also. Because when the hand and the arm are on your life and they are working for you, you don't need to bother yourself. Because no matter what the devil does, you are well assured that both the hand and the arm of God is with you. And the Bible says in the book of Romans, if God is with you, who can be against you? If God's hand and God's arm are with you, who can snatch you from the hand of God? Jesus said that everyone that his father gave to him, he said that no power can snatch them away from his hand. You are in the hand of God. That means you are secured. You are preserved. You are protected. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Never you be afraid of what man Man is doing because no man is too powerful to take you away from the hand and the arm of God. Somebody say, I hear. I fell to my servant David. Why? Because he's a servant. Please, when you study the life of David, you will see that David never left 
that level of servanthood to becoming a master. There was nothing like pride in the life of David. No wonder God kept on saying, He's a man after my own heart. No wonder God gave him several graces. Not one, several graces. He was a king, he was a priest, he was a prophet. He was a choir master. He was a composer of songs. He was an instrumentalist. One man. One man. With all these graces, not one grace. That is what humility does. Even the scripture said that the humble, he said he gives him grace. Please, no matter what you are or who you are today, remember where God picked you from. Remember where you are coming from. There is nothing in this life. To make your head to grow bigger. I was talking to somebody one day and I said, Empty head is a big load to the neck. That is, you have head but you don't have brain, it's a load to the neck. Don't ever get to the point of feeling that. You have arrived. Please let me not celebrate you so much to the point of celebrating you out of who God have made you. For you to forget where God brought you out from. Is somebody hearing me here? My hand shall establish him. My arm shall strengthen him. Wow. Wow. What a secret. Establish. Strengthen. Please give me the next verse. With whom my hand shall give me the next verse. 22. The enemy shall not exert upon him. Nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Somebody said, I do possible. No, no, shout it. I said, I do not possible. How can it be possible? Someone, the hand and the arm of God is with. The one he found and anointed. And see what he said. Number one, the enemy will not exert upon him. The enemy will not oppress him. The enemy will not keep him down. The enemy will not rejoice over him. Because he is my servant. He is my servant. I am committed to his protection and his preservation. Brother, I hope you are not sleeping. I hope you are not sleeping. Because he is my servant, I am committed to his preservation. It's my duty to watch over him. It's my duty to make sure that the enemy do not take over of his life. Beloved, can we talk less of these enemies and talk more of the greatness of our God? Can we, can we, can we stop giving them publicity? Because if they had power as you think that they had, they would have finished it by now. 
if they are as strong as the enemies want us to think that they are they are they would have they would have finished us by now but because there is a higher power he said the enemy will not exact sit on your head why should he sit when the oil is there that's what I've been keeping this man not in Esau that's what I've been helping him not in Esau hello I didn't hear you I said hello you know sometimes when I see your pastor it reminds me Paul St. Paul in the Bible you know many of you didn't know that Paul was a very a man that was vertically dis disadvantaged he was as short as your pastor you know what the Bible said the Bible said but Paul himself was saying the word of God said he was brief S small man but his words were powerful I was listening to Papo Yedepo yesterday. He said, as he was winding up the Shiloh, he said that the world had been saying that this in his world, that this brief man, this short man, he was talking about himself, is the richest man in the is the richest pastor in the whole world. And you know what he said? He said, but they are not lying, they are telling the truth. The one that caught my attention was that that this small and you know he's brief too. That this small so it is not in nature. It is in what is inside. There is a giant inside of this man. If you want to celebrate the God that I've called him, give him a beautiful hand to the glory of God. <laughs> Enemies will not exact upon him. Yes, give me the next verse. The son of wickedness. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. If you're shouting, let me shout it louder. <laughs> Prophet Ken, this is God's promise to you and to your children. From this new year, God will deal with your enemies. God will deal with the enemies of this commission. As God is dealing with them, God will deal with your own enemies. The enemies of your family, God will be there. God will scatter there. God will destroy them. God will nullify them. If you are shouting them, stand up and shout the land of Amen. Put that scripture again. Put that scripture again. And I that means I have taken over the battle. And ah, that means uh, the battle is no more yours. Uh, it is not mine. And ah, we beat down, beat down his foes uh, before his face. Uh, that means you will see them. Uh, you will notice them. Uh, you will see where God is telling them. Uh, it will not happen behind you. You will look at them. Uh, those that say you will not stand. Uh, those that say you will not make it. Uh, those that say you will not progress. Uh, those that say you are not going to be celebrated. Uh, those that say you will not expand. Uh, those that say you will not progress. Uh, the Lord said uh, he will beat them before you. You will see their downfall. You will see them cry. Uh, you will see them weep. Uh, what they are planning for you, they shall carry it with their whole head. Uh, what they say you will not become, uh, they will see you becoming it. Uh, and you will see them becoming what they say. That they the say will not become. Uh, whatever thing they plan for you, it will return back to them hundredfold. Uh, whatever thing they thought about you, even the ones they didn't say, even the ones they didn't mention, uh, there is a God that sees their heart. Uh, and God is here 
covenant that same God is going to arise he says I will beat your enemies I will beat the force before you before you before you before you I don't know who you are and I don't know where you are coming from in this season of Christmas anyone that has been bothering your life or your family the Bible says I will beat them when God beat your enemies they will not have the hand to beat you when God beat your enemies they will not have the strength to stand to stand against you when God beat your enemies I don't know what he's going to use to beat them whether it's going to use game whether it's going to use Koboko whether it's going to use Lord but whatever thing he's going to use to beat them is something that they will not recover from the Lord according to his word today he shall beat your enemies put up that scripture where well. put it up again not only will he say I will plague them that hate you I didn't say that I didn't say so I will plague them that hate you I will plague them Papa there are haters let your word come to pass Are there people that you know there are people that hate you? Anybody like that? Raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand. I will plague them that hate you. You know why? When they are plagued, they will be consigned with the plague and they will leave you alone. Lord, the plague that will make them to leave me and my family alone let it be seen them from now I didn't know whether you shouted them or you shouted me get ready because before Christmas you will hear news Christmas is two weeks today 14 days today what it means is that from now to 14 days you will hear news about that <laughs> for anybody that is waiting for your arrival God will plague him or her he will be so much preoccupied with the plague that he will not know when you will arrive he will not know when you will go back that's God's promises to his servant to his servant somebody shout hallelujah I didn't hear that someone shout I better hallelujah you see sit down one of the reasons for the anointing is for the anointed to break every obligation of the devil to destroy every assignment of the enemy Hi. please you don't have any obligation to the devil You know, there are families the devil has placed demand upon. But I'm here to tell everybody you owe the devil nothing. Help me look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Shout the ladder. Say neighbor. You owe the devil nothing. Shout the ladder again. Say neighbor. You owe the devil nothing. <laughs> 